Hello everyone, welcome back to Sudokoda. This is Ravina, and today we are going to solve linked li- link list problem, uh, which is reverse linked list. Uh, linked list are my favorite problems, you know, because we can solve them using a similar approach, and they are all very intuitive. Uh, once you know, once you get a hang of it, once you know how this link, how to approach this linked list problems, then they are really easy to solve. Okay, uh, let's start by reading the question here. The question says that given the head of a single linked list, reverse the list and then return the reversed list. So uh, in this example, we have a linked list which is 1 pointing to 2, 3, 4, and then 5. We want to reverse this linked list in a sense where fifth is our first, uh, the last node is our first node, and then it points to our second last node um and then the third last node second and then the first node so let's see how we can approach this problem to solve this problem uh we are gonna need a two pointer thing right uh so let's start we are gonna need a previous pointer which initially is gonna be none and then there needs to be a current pointer which actually uh, points to the head so let's see our current is right here to our head and then we are going to use a while loop to go through all the nodes so that we can reverse them okay so uh, my while loop starts i'm at pointing at my first element uh the first thing that i need to uh, that i'm doing is i'm going to create a next temp variable on my next element of the current next element to current is this so I'll make it my temporary. Oops. I'm going to make this my temporary node. OK, once I do that, uh, I will update my currents next to my previous. My previous is none. So my currents next would now become none. So this link is going to get vanished. And that is why we created, a, we actually stored this next element into a temp so that we can go through all the elements. Okay, once I do that, let me write down the steps here. I will do current dot next will be my previous. Okay, the next thing to do here is I'm going to make my current node as my previous node. So I'm going to do uh, my previous node would be current. So I'll make this as previous. And uh, I'm going to make this temp as my current because my current should be the first element, right, in the in the linked list that we are trying to reverse. So my temp will now become current. So my current will move from here. Okay. Now we have to iterate through the same thing. Once I get my current updated, the while loop continues. The first thing in the while loop is to create a, uh, to point it to the next temp variable. So my temp variable is now here. Okay. Uh, my current dot next, which is this, becomes my previous. So my current's next pointer would really become my previous. Uh, so my current's current is this. And actually, we updated our previous. Uh, we updated our previous to one. I uh, forgot to update here. My previous is one. I'm gonna do my uh, previous would be my current dot next. So my current dot next would become my previous. Okay. So and then I just shuffle up my previous. My previous beca- uh, becomes whatever is my current. So my previous strikes from here, becomes previous here. My previous is now two. Okay, and in the end, my current will now be pointing to the head of the list again. So I remove my current from here. My current would be now pointing to three. Okay, now the loop continues again. We mark my uh, we mark our temp as the next element to current. So we have temp. Now my current dot next will become previous. So the step. My current is right here. My current will become my previous. Uh, will uh, current dot next will be my previous. My previous is two. So this little thing 
is going to point here now. So I'm going to get rid of that pointer because that pointer just got updated to uh, 2. Okay. Uh, once I do that, uh, this now becomes my previous and 4, four becomes my current. Okay. Uh, this is one while loop. Now let's start again. We have our current. We mark our current dot next as temp. Since we don't have anything here, my null would be my temp now. My current dot uh, my uh, current dot next would be my previous. So my current dot next is here, and my previous becomes my current. So my previous is here. If you look at this, by the end of this loop, uh, my current my, Next, my current will be current, uh, my temp. So my current would be here. My current would be pointing to null. And we are only doing this while loop while my current is not none. So that's where this while loop ends. And if you look at it, it's now a reversed linked list, this part. So this is backwards, but it's essentially four, three, two, one, and none, which is how it is supposed to be. So this is how we are going to solve the problem. Uh, let's start by writing some code. OK, uh, let's start by having a previous node. And that would be none. And then my current would be the head of the linked list. While uh, my current is not none, I'm going to go through all the elements. The first thing we do, first thing we do is we create our temp and our temp is current, current's next element. So I do that and then my current dot next becomes my previous. This current dot next becomes my previous is that little link that we were changing when we were drawing the diagram. The next thing is my previous becomes my current and the last step will be my current is the temp that we we had created the uh, in the first line of the while loop. In the end, I return my previous node since previous node will be the starting point of a reversed linked list. Okay, let me click run code and see if it compiles. Oh yeah, it does. Let me submit it. Yeah, you see, it's faster than 95% of the Python submissions. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the space and time complexity of this problem. Uh, let me go back to my notepad. Okay, uh, if you look at it, we are moving through every single node in our linked list to reverse it, right? That makes it that makes my time complexity as O of n. n is the number of nodes, and we are going through all the nodes. So that's why it's O of n. The space complexity, however, is O of 1, which is constant. That is because we have we are using just previous and current variable here. And even if previous and current might hold a whole linked list, but if you know how linked list operates, is that each node is stored in a different memory, and then there are links that connects. So essentially, we are just having one node at a time in both these variables. So that makes our space complexity as O of 1. Please give this uh, video a thumbs up and comment if you like it. Uh, it really helps my channel. Uh, this code will be on GitHub and I am on Discord. So uh, I'll d also include that link in the description. The link to GitHub will also be in the description and I will see you next time. Thank you.